Hello and welcome to our Microsoft Office 2007 tutorials. My name is Mikey Tate and we are going to use our math skills and learn about how you can do math stuff, such as add and subtract, using Microsoft Office Excel 2007. In order to do all these functions, you'll need Microsoft Office 2007 or later to do the math functions that I am about to demonstrate to you. First, here is where we will be doing the adding and subtracting at. It is known as the formula bar. There are many mathematics stuff you can do with this bar, but we are going to start off easy by adding and subtracting. Inspired Technical Services will have more of these tutorials coming in the future, but without further delay, let's start adding. Here is the number I did. I want to add 24 to it. Use the following code, then press enter and you'll get your answer, which is 264. Now this time we will subtract 24 from 240 using this code, and here is our answer. 216. Now here's an amazing part. You can also multiply and divide using those codes. 240 times 24 is 5760, while 240 divided by 24 is only a 10. <laughs> it's a very handy tool if you're stuck at a certain math problem and you need some serious help. There's another way you can add numbers to your math problems too. Here we have two numbers that I jotted down. I want to add both of these numbers up, so instead of using the formula bar, I'll use a semicolon, which is this one. And here we have our answer with just one click on that icon. Now, there are more handy options within this icon, which includes average, count numbers, minimum, and maximum numbers, and more. <laughs> Next time I'll be talking more about those functions and what is the best part about that function. Right now, this will conclude the tutorial about basic calculations in Microsoft Office Excel 2007. Stay with Inspired Technical Services for more tutorials and tips on various computer topics. But until next time, this is Mikey Tate with Inspired Technical Services saying take care and have a good one.